Hey guys, welcome to another video. This one's uh, unrelated to Disney and theme parks. <laughs> we uh, got ourselves a, a motorcycle. We got a KLR 650, the adventure model. Uh, this is a 2024. Uh, we got it actually this morning um, from my place here locally. Let's see. Adventure. I need to replace the uh, the mirrors. I ordered some off of Amazon, but the adapters they sent me uh, three of the incorrect size and one of the correct size nuts. <laughs> so uh, I need to return that. Um, but that's one thing I'm gonna swap out. New mirrors. Got the phone holder. This thing's heavy duty. Um, highly recommend that. I'll try to remember the name of it and I'll put it in the description below. But. I think it's CNC aluminum or some some crap like that. <laughs> but yeah, the adventure has the uh, USB in here. Uh, it's got a 12 volt plug right in here. It comes with it. The dash is pretty uh, it's pretty straightforward. No real bells and whistles. Straight to the point. You got your fuel clock, which is incorrect. I gotta fix that. Uh, we actually purchased this with one mile on it. <laughs> As you can tell, I've been uh, riding around today, having a having a Baja blast, as the kids say. But yeah, it was at a full tank, so I'm at half, and I've been 116 miles, so do the math, I guess. Uh, this one also comes with the two LED lights in the front. We got the switch for it right here. Pretty bright. <clears throat> Haven't really, haven't been on this thing at night yet, but we sure will do that at some point and test those out. Uh, let's see here, I'll turn it on for you. You can hear what the stock exhaust sounds like. For a stock exhaust, I mean, it sounds pretty good. Debating if I'm gonna swap it out or just keep it because when I've been on the highway, it's actually pretty nice. Not bad, it's not terrible. I'm trying to think, uh, I'm probably gonna make some videos on this. I have the GoPro, obviously, from our theme park vlogs. So I'll get the GoPro on the helmet and I'll probably make some some videos doing some road testing and whatnot. I ordered um, a trunk for this. That'll be in tomorrow. Uh, it's a trunk with the backrest pads on it. So, you know, Jackie can ride with me and do some Smoky Mountain rides here in the future. Uh, the only thing I've done so far is I swapped out the air intake filter. Um, I got one of these, the K&N. This is the model you'll need if you have a KLR. It's pretty straightforward installation. It's just, I have huge hands, so trying to get in the hole. When you, so, I don't know if, if you never had a KLR, it's probably the same like most bikes, but you have to take off the entire side fairing. Um, there's a plastic, um, plastic door you have to unscrew open it and it's just a tiny little hole to get the old filter out and put the new one in and if you have huge hands it's a pain in the ass <laughs> there was lots of cussing but it's in it's all back together everybody's happy um yeah i've been looking at these bikes for years now so it's cool to finally have one in the garage so yeah we're gonna make some more videos on this just wanted to do a quick little update video here and show it I know we haven't made a video in about two weeks, but we actually, we've been busy. <laughs> I'm in the middle of trying to start a new job and we've all just been hectic around here, but in the middle of all the chaos, there's a motorcycle now. <laughs> so yeah, if you have any questions on this thing, uh, leave them in the comments. I'm kind of just on the spot here, just out of breath and dehydrated from doing this shit and doing other stuff around here. So. Uh, yeah, it came with the, the hand win. I mean, I guess it's nice. I didn't have those on my old bike, so 
I don't know how I feel about it yet. It hasn't gotten in the way of anything, so I mean, they're fine. I'll just leave them. Uh, yeah. You have any questions on this thing? Leave in the comments. We'll make some more videos on it. Thanks for watching.